science guy, Rick Croslin, is here, and he's going to show us the magic of magnets. They always ask me to do these yeah. segments because I emulate a child with how much I know about no, science. So I'm like, curious. wow, you're curious. Look at that. That is cool. <laughs> You know, I hate using the word magic and science together. Oh, sorry. That's because really, magic is just science they haven't figured out yet, in my mm. opinion. Sometimes <laughs> it feels like magnets for people who don't understand, like yeah. me. So magnets are really... Did you say magic or magnets? Uh, let's say <laughs> magnets. It comes from the word uh, from an island in the Greek Isles, Magnesia. And these are actually lodestone. These are actual nat natural occurring magnets that were found in the ground. And many years ago... It was uh, learned that if you take a piece of iron and you rub it on one of these, you can magnetize this and get uh, electronic charges in it. And that's how, th why lodestone is also called journey stone or leading stone, because they made compasses out of this that you could travel the oceans or you could travel at night. And, uh, and, and you can see that this still affects the compasses oh, that is really cool. over here because it induces a magnetic field. So magnets are... We use them everywhere. You could not have life without magnets the way we have it in our today's technology. Mm -hmm. Magnetism is used in almost every electronic product you have, from your phone to your car to your house to the, how we generate electricity. And that's why they don't want, because you even told me to keep my yeah. phone away from all this. Yeah. I have mm -hmm. about four different types of magnets here, and one of them, a neodymium, is very, very powerful and could erase your phone. So basically a magnet has a positive side and a negative side, and in nature, Positive and negative, you probably know this, they like to, well, this one, I got this one upside down. <laughs> These are repelling. Repel, yeah. But uh, if I put it like this, they attract. Mm -hmm. So this is attracting, and this is repelling. Nice. And it's one of the four fundamental forces in the universe. There's gravity, mm -hmm. there's electromagnetism. And then there is these strong and weak atomic forces, which we're not going to talk about today. But if I, if I push this this way, gravity's going to pull it down. But there's a magnet on the end of it. So you, I saw you having some fun with it. And I've got these lined up so they repel each other. So fun. So there's two of the uh, universe's fundamental forces, gravity and magnetism. But uh, kids have a lot of fun with this. I know in our third grade in Wayne Township, we've been doing a lot of invisible forces. And so I have some ring magnets. These are uh, ceramic magnets. And I put that one down. And depending on how I put it, that attracts. Mm -hmm. But flip it over the other way and see what happens. Repel! It repels. It almost looks like it's floating, floating in the air. It's, you can't see those lines, of invisible lines of force, but they're there. And uh, it's kind of a fun thing to do. You use these on your refrigerator all the time. Mm -hmm. Because magnets are also attracted to iron. You know, and so most of these things have iron in them. But I brought some things that are not iron. Copper, brass, aluminum, plastic, and a magnet should not attach to any of these. Yeah. Unless you have this really weird magnet that I brought, <laughs> which is called a neodymium. Now this, I want you to be careful with this magnet because oh, it, it is dangerous. super, super strong. <laughs> Roll that iron sphere towards it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will really... That's and fun. Go ahead and pull one of those off of there. That's not easy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's uh, very strong. And so it's so weird that this is hard. I can't show you this on TV, but when you feel, do this, you feel what that's like. Let's move these out of your way. It's kind of, it's You feel bizarre. a force? Yeah. It is a force. And really, you can actually see that. Here is another neodymium magnet and copper. It's not supposed to attach, uh, attract it. But watch what happens. Whoa. It falls in slow motion. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> and that's because it induces a temporary eddy current in there. I know it's, it's a lot, but it's, that's the thing with science. There's always more to learn. I want to try uh, an experiment that's kind of fun to try. So this is a very strong magnet. And mm -hmm. I roll this glass marble down it. Nothing should happen, right? Let's see here. It just goes right past it, right? Yes. If I roll an iron metal iron ball this should happen mm -hmm. but this is the part that's so cool this is what happens when the gravity of a planet pulls an asteroid if i get this just right we should be able to let it go and it should bend it its path and this is isaac newton would love this i hope here we go oh too close you see it attracted i'm trying to get right by it. here we go you see it bend a little yeah, bit i don't know it's kind of still a oh i try see try one more time you yeah, see how it bent? Changed the course. And that's how we get satellites and spacecraft to go faster 
and to come back to Earth. We just had that uh, Osiris Rex, a spaceship that went to an asteroid and brought back material, and it used other planets to speed up. Now, that is gravity, and I'm showing you magnetism, but it's a good model for kids. I'll, let's get a really good tour this will, uh, a little bit. Um, I'm going to do one more thing, if that's okay. okay. So I, I told you that this is a magnet. See the magnet in there, mm -hmm. right? And if you've been paying attention, which I know you have, this is, this must be, if you drop that in there, that must be made out of what? Yeah. Iron. Yeah. Iron, okay? But let me Ooh. see if I can, let me, let me try some here. Put your hand down and see. One, two, three. Okay, go ahead and try it. Now drop it in there and see what happens. What? What happened? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> drop it again. I, I don't know what's happening here. What are you doing? Here, you hold that. I'll show you. Hold it. It's easy. You go like this. Ready? And it works. What? Are you switching it? Oh Are you God. switching it? <laughs> I'm glad you paid attention. You Good observation me. skills. This one is made out of aluminum. Okay. And that one's made iron. out of iron. So that one sticks. There are two all along, folks. <laughs> I, I like to do things like that because it gets you really to think about what's going on and question what you've seen. Yeah. If you call that magic, I call it science. So I uh, feel educated. I don't know you. if I'll try this. I saw this is on the market. This is a face cream, face mask, magnetic face Man, mask. Man, the beauty industry yeah. is you really thinking this of on, everything. You put this on, you let it dry, and then... Here we go. I don't no know what's going to happen. After it dries, I guess, we'll see what happens. Go ahead and put it on there. Does it, uh, hopefully it I comes just put off. it on there? Yeah, touch it and see if it comes off. Does it start okay. coming off? Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I would, no one, I would not do this. I would not do this either. Who's, who makes this? I don't know. Probably, um, I have no idea. But it's supposed to make you youthful. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Cody, you should try it. <laughs> It's his birthday. I'm teasing. You look great, Cody. Uh, it could either repel you or attract you. I don't know. <laughs> so. We'll find out next.